Okay, now that we have our motherboard installed, we need to get to install our DVD drive with our SATA cable that came with the motherboard. That package of SATA cables you got before, pull out one of those. You'll need that for the DVD drive. And also, get the package of screws that came with your case. Okay, before we put the drive in, you must take off the front panel piece here to slide the drive through into the case and that's another reason why we kept off of that panel it gives easier room to get in and maneuver in the case in this specific case is actually a little um, piece you just push in and it's just a little plastic piece and it just pops out um, the front piece will just pop out here just like this you look at show you the front here and I'm putting it at the bottom. I like it because it doesn't have to stretch the cable as long. It's, um, and it's all about personal preference. Some people like it at top. Um, I like I like to put it at the bottom. Just kind of slide this in here. Get it slid into place. Fit that in. Make sure everything fits well. See the drives right here, nice and even. The drive sticks out the back now, right here. And what we'll do is, um, under typically it has four screws right here. I'm just gonna put uh, one in the front and one in the back because I don't see it necessary to have your drive that. Sick. I mean, nothing. You could have one screw in this probably total, and with um hold your drive just fine. You gotta make sure your drive is um, even at the front. And then just tighten this down. It kinda moves so you might might not want to tighten it all the way until you make sure you have it. Good. There. Now if we come in on the back with the case right here you'll see more screw holes as well. And even on some cases, you might not even want to do the back period. If your back panel is hard to get off, or other reasons keeping you, like my acrylic case and my other computer under my channel, it is um, very hard to get the back panel off because things are connected to it. So I do not actually have a screw onto the back of this um, on my um, Blu-ray drive in that specific computer. So and you really, I'm just doing this to make sure it's extra secure. No reason to have eight screws, just a waste of time. And really, you could probably have um, two screws. There's one, you know, just the two in the front. to keep it evenly um, stabilized. I mean, it's not going anywhere right now. It's kind of, that also keeps it from going up and down. See, right now it's... You can't even move it. I'm just going to put this last screw in. Make it even. Things easy in the front. Now we will get to attaching the um, SATA cable. That stands for Serial Advanced Attachment Cable. Really, you just call it, can call it a serial ATA cable or SATA cable is what most everyone calls it. You have a couple options when you're down here. It's going to go and zoom in. Well, zoom in just a little here and focus on it. Right down here, you have your SATA ports right here. And then on the side right here, you have a SATA port as well. This specific cable has an L bracket and then the other side is flat. It's really up to personal preference what um, side you want it on. Sometimes the L bracket will go straight down, other lines will go up. So in this, if um, it does not go straight down, but in this case, it goes straight down. So it's probably more effective on this drive to have it go straight down like that and then plugging this in straight. It really doesn't matter what port you're plugging in. I would say put it in, depending on what hard drive, put your hard drives first. 
in the number one slot, which usually doesn't matter, like I said. And um, then put the DVD drives later. It helps in the order in the BIOS, so you don't have to change it later. Later. So I just kind of stuff this behind here for quick cable management to help keep clutter out of the way and help air flow in the case. And I'm just going to stick this in the middle one here. So we're only going to have a total of three hard drives in this computer. Just like that. And that is all it takes to install a DVD drive in your computer. If you have any questions, please ask below. And continue on to the next video on installing your power supply.